Hey my dudes, what's up? Simo here and today I've got a bit of a DIY project. So if you cannot tell, my boots that I've been using for roller skating are old ice skating boots. They are quite broken in, they've got lots of scratches on the front and yes they do have a little bit of sparkle on the back but even some of the rhinestones are missing so I thought it'd be really fun to get them covered in rhinestones because I mean why not everything in the entire planet can always be improved with a few rhinestones because the sparklier the better so let's turn my old boring skates into beautiful sparkly roller skates so before we get into the time lapse of me rhinestoning my skates this is what you'll need rhinestones obviously this handy little tool with a bit of blue tack on the end so it makes it easier to pick up your rhinestones and then this is the glue that I use. Honestly, if you're into figure skating or any similar sport where you need rhinestones outfits, I would highly, highly recommend learning how to put rhinestones on things because it will save you a fortune. Skating dresses absolutely skyrocket in price depending on how many rhinestones you put on them. If you are like me and you love sparkly dresses and sparkly skating outfits, then you can save a fortune by just purchasing the rhinestones yourself and putting them onto things. It's not that difficult to learn how to do. It's just time consuming and you do need quite a bit of patience, but I'd honestly really recommend learning how to put on rhinestones. I just also want to clarify that the little nozzle that squeezes glue out of the top of my glue is glued shut. So what I am doing is putting glue onto the skate with the other end of my little pointy tool and then using the blue tack side to pick up the rhinestone and pop the rhinestone on there. Also, it doesn't need to be this specific tool. It literally just needs to be anything pointy. I think you actually get these from like nail art kits. It's super handy and it was super cheap. I think I just bought it on Amazon or something. If I can find one similar online, I will link it in the description below. If not, you can use literally anything. So it is now the next day and I am so pleased with the results of my skates. Just look how sparkly and fun they are. I mean, you can never have too many rhinestones, but I don't think I would have done something like this if these were still my competition skates. But I feel like with roller skating, you can just have a bit of fun. Like people have really crazy customised their roller skates, which I think is just great and I love them. I love a bit of sparkle. So I've only rhinestoned the outside of my skates. As you can see, I left the inside bare and that's because I just think you're more likely to rub your feet together and they're just gonna come off. And the other reason that I quite like this design is if one falls off, it's not that noticeable. And I mean, you can add more anytime you like. I replaced all the ones that have fallen off at the back and yeah, I just love them. I think it's so fun and I just can't wait to take them out and get a proper skate on them. So let me know in the comments below, have you customised your skates in any way or are you planning to? Has this video maybe inspired you to do so? But I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And if you enjoyed it, you can give it a wee thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button. But my name is Simo. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.